today I've got something very exciting to show you guys. Follow me on Instagram or anything like that. You totally know what it is already, but something that's going to be on, featured on my channel a lot, so I really need to introduce you guys to it formally. And without further ado, let's go ahead and turn the camera around and show you guys what it is. All right, so here she is. What you guys are looking at is the replacement of my Finity QX4, my beloved first car. I know you guys like that thing a lot. It's pretty sweet. It's time to move on. What I moved on to is something that I think, truly, is quite the upgrade. It's a 2003 model in titanium silver. As you can see in the grill there, the little badge that I added, it's a 4.7 liter V8. It's a towing package equipped truck as well. I already put on the Toyota Class 4 hitch since the original one seemed like it would probably be a little too wimpy for pulling on hard when doing off-road recoveries. Previous owner went ahead and put these nice American racing wheels on it. I'm totally digging it. Well, some Cooper Discover all-terrain tires. They're a little worn down, not that aggressive. And you know what? They're all-terrain 31, so I can't complain. Overall, it's in pretty dang good shape. Paint's not perfect, but I've been working on slowly polishing that, getting it nice again. Undercarriage has surface rust, but it's super solid. The frame is super solid. Let's go ahead and take a peek in one of the wheel wells here and show you guys what I'm talking about it being super solid. If you know the Northeast and Midwest, you know that is like new for a 15 year old frame. That's beautiful. So obviously I've got some pretty sweet plans with this thing. Before we talk about that, let's talk about some of the cool features of this car in case you guys aren't familiar. Number one is, if you own a 4Runner and you don't know about this feature, you need to reevaluate your life. Got my key fob here. If that ain't just the coolest thing ever, you're insane. I love driving around with all five windows all the way rolled down. It's amazing. Now, I am a little bit indecisive about the spoiler on the back. Mine doesn't have it, of course. Can't decide if I like it better with or without, but I certainly don't mind it without. Now, some things I've already done. I've gone through and I'm working on the brakes a little bit. Those have a lot of issues, actually, I'm going to have to take care of, but I'm working on replacing the slide pins so they at least don't stick as bad. I do have definitely a warped rotor issue. Replaced one of the fog lights that was super nasty. Installed a CB radio. I'm going to go over that on a separate video, specifically because I'm very happy with how that turned out, and I want to share with you guys who might want to do it yourselves. Obviously, the trailer hitch that I already mentioned. I've got some skid plates sitting at home waiting to be installed. And then, of course, the ultimate upgrade for any automobile. It doesn't have to be a Toyota or whatever. Any automobile. LED interior lights. Switch them out, and you'll know why they're the best. They make a world of difference. They really do. This vehicle has just a tick on 180,000 miles, so it's getting a little bit up there. It is due for a timing belt change, as well as transmission fluid, diffs, transfer case, coolant. Basically the whole nine yards, so it's going to get treated a lot this fall with brakes and fluids and belts and so forth. But well, once all that's done, we can really start getting into the interesting stuff. So you're probably thinking to yourself, all right, Matt, that's cool and all. Neat for you to show me around a 4Runner. Yours is in pretty decent shape, right? Cool ride. I'm jealous. I know. You guys don't have to flatter me. But the thing is, you're really interested in it. I know you're saying it. Shut up, Matt. Talk about what you're going to do to it because I know you're going to make it cool. Now, you're, that's right. I'm totally going to mod this thing. I'm going to do a lot to it. If you saw my last vehicle, if not, go back, check out the video. I modded that thing a lot. I off-roaded it a lot. That's what I like to do is off-roading. So clearly, this being an off-roading icon, a legendary vehicle like a Toyota 4Runner, it's going to get modded. It's going to get done upright. So I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do to it as far as off-road mods. But first, I'm going to talk about some cosmetic mods and some other little changes I want to do to make you guys wait. So you're going to have to stick around to hear what the off-road mods are going to be. Now, before we discuss cosmetic mods, let's discuss rust. Because clearly, if I want to make this thing last, and I do, because I'm going to spend a lot of money on it, and I'm already growing to like it quite a lot. Getting rid of the last vehicle sucked enough. So let's talk about what I'm going to do about rust. Obviously, the frame, it's in good shape but obviously I want it to stay in good shape. So I'm very slowly working on going ahead and cleaning that up, applying POR15, basically gonna make it last as long as I can. I also do need to get a small bit of work done here. The only rot on the frame is right here on the lower transmission cross member, or not transmission, excuse me, uh, radiator. Now that's a known problem, so I'm just gonna have to get that patched up. And then as long as I'm here, I'm gonna talk about an off-roading mod. I need to have some, uh, front tow hooks fabricated 
because this has none from the factory and the only options aftermarket are a full-blown bumper, which, as cool as that would be, isn't even close to in the budget right now with all the maintenance I need to do. In addition, as far as rust, there's little bits along the edges of the doors. Not bad, nothing that I'm too worried about. Just gonna take care of that. And the only spot where I've got a little bit of rot other than by that radiator thing is right here along the top of the hatch. So I'm gonna talk to a body shop about getting that fixed up, but chances are I'm gonna end up just leaving it how it is and keep my eyes out for a replacement in the junkyard. Now, speaking of the junkyard, there's a few things I wanna get. This is a 2003 Forerunner. The 2003 to 2005 had a certain body style, which is almost exactly the same as the 2006 to the 2009, but there are a few updates in 2006 to 2009. One of those that I'm gonna to want to get is the LED tail lights. Now, these tail lights work fine. They look fine, however, Every time I'm behind a 06 to 09 in traffic and I see those LED tail lights, it just looks like such a newer vehicle. And just for a few bucks at the junkyard, I can make this thing look years newer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. In addition, I obviously want the sport hood with the hood scoop. That would be pretty sweet, I think. Let me know you guys' opinion on that. Is it gonna be truck rice or not? Obviously it's not gonna be functional, so. A little bit ricey, but hell, it looks cool. So I'm probably gonna do it. In addition, I want to do something called the Satoshi Mod on the grill. It's basically where you cut the grill out and put some mesh in, put a big Toyota badge, make it look cool, basically look a little bit like a 5th gen TRD 4Runner. However, the 03 to 05 grills don't lend themselves to that modification very well at all, so I have to get an 06 to 09 grill, which means I also have to get 06 to 09 headlights, which is fine because then they'll be HIDs instead of halogen, and it'll move the turn signals to the headlight, which will be perfect, very convenient for when I switch over to an aftermarket bumper. Um, and I need the little bit of trim that goes behind the window, the headlights, which is again, fine, because mine have some paint issues, to say the least. So, that's the majority of the cosmetic mods I'm wanting to do. I've got a whole list of little stuff I want to do, really little stuff. We're not even going to worry about that. That's basically the cosmetic mods I've got planned. Now let's talk about what you guys really care about, the off-road stuff. Now obviously there's an absolute boatload I can do with this thing as far as off-road mods. I'm just going to talk about big stuff for this video, as well as anything that is, has any chance of happening anytime vaguely soon. So first up is going to be, I'm going to get Bilstein shocks all the way around with the adjustables in the front and Old Man Emu springs. That should give me about a 3 inch lift, which will allow me to fit 33s, which will hopefully be my next modification after that. So I'm going to go with BFG KO2s, because that's what I had on the Infinity, and I was extremely happy with them. This is actually going to be an inch bigger. It's going to be a little bit bigger tire, which is very cool. In addition, obviously, bumpers are on the list, especially a front bumper. I know for the front, I'm thinking either custom tube, or I'm really liking how the Shrock Works looks. For the rear, I'm not sure. I'm probably going to end up having to go custom, because they all look a little awkward. I know it's because it has these high sides on the bumper, but I'm just... I'm going to have to look into that, but that's not happening anytime soon anyways. And then, of course, rock sliders and some upgraded skid plates. I'd like to get some from, I believe, RCI is the company. Now, you're probably wondering why you wanted to get skid plates when you mentioned earlier you already have some. The ones I got are just the original Toyota ones. I got them from the junkyard. Um, mine just didn't come with them. They're probably removed to an oil change at some point and left off. So I'm definitely going to have to keep a close eye on mine whenever I take it someplace to make sure nobody takes the skid plates off of it and keeps them, because be, that would be, that would make me quite upset to say the least. Um, so beyond that, obviously uh, one of the side effects of off-roading is you're going to get muddy shoes. Definitely going to get some uh, all-weather floor mats in there, because right now it just has carpets, especially in the trunk where I've got my toolbox and stuff sliding around making a mess of the carpet. I've got tarp under there for now. Because although I like to use a vehicle, I don't mind scratching it up, getting it dirty. When it comes down to it, I want it to be able to stay good enough that if I put some hours into it, I can make it look like new again. Because I really do appreciate a good looking vehicle. And this really is if I put a little bit more work into it. Now, diff locks. Diff locks are always a great upgrade that really increase your off-road capabilities. But I'm not gonna do them to this truck. At least not anytime, even slightly soon. Why not? Because for anybody who's not aware, this has uh, something called A-Track which is basically like a Toyota traction control for off-roading, which acts like an electronic limited slip diff using the brakes. Apparently it's a very good system. I'm gonna have to try it out myself, but I've heard very good things about it. So I don't think I'm gonna end up needing to spend money on locking diffs actually, which I'm very excited about. Saved me a lot of money on the build right there. Beyond that, is there anything that you guys wanna see me do with this? 
not necessarily going to do what you say, but if you got a suggestion, I like it, I might do it. So go ahead and drop something in the comment box below. Tell me what you think about the truck. Tell me if you think it's stupid that I bought a Toyota. Oh, I should have bought a Jeep. Or what do you want me to do with it? Anything else like that. If you got any questions, go ahead and ask them. Check me out on Instagram, at MJOTrainBrain. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have a great rest of your day.